Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Enigma SMP server. Today is it, guys. This is our season finale for season one and we are wasting no time. We're getting right into it with a building time lapse because, well, we gotta make sure the Triscalian is complete for the world download, or at least as complete as it can be. Uh, obviously there wasn't enough time to finish all the plans that I wanted, so we each kind of polished things off, added a roof to the base, all that kind of stuff. Superside Kian was kind enough to offer his assistance with that, and he helped me come up with a lot of the design work as well. And a couple other people dropped in throughout the time we were building too. Mythical Emmy came by, Reverse came by, Wandle. So at one point we had five different people working on the base, which was completely awesome. Like, it was awesome having everyone around, and it just shows how great our community is. So thank you to those guys for helping me out. And I'll let you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy this final time lapse for season one. Alright guys, we have finished up the base. Behind us here we have a Quinjet custom built by Kean here. Spent a bunch of time last night designing it, so thank you very much. <laughs> and if we look here, um, we, uh, we didn't exactly do the interior of it because, you know, no one's going to fly it. It's pretty stationary and, uh, you know, you know, it's made out of stone so it's not going to fly that well. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, <laughs> But the main thing that we did was up here on the roof. So there's actually a roof now, if you look at this. Um, oh my goodness. I know, right? A roof? We've got some helicopter pads. We've got a storage area. And a bunch of little details that keen has been working oh. on as well. <laughs> you okay, buddy? I've been pushed off. That murderous <laughs> reverse guy, he's, he's, he's out, for, out for my head, apparently. <laughs> that reverse guy. Oh, there you are. But yeah, uh, do you want to explain some of the little details that you've thrown around here? Oh, okay, yeah. So um, we initially we're trying to figure out how to fill this big space, and I thought maybe we'd just build a huge building up. Of course, that takes time, and time is not something we have very much of. So we did a little bit of um, compromise on that, and instead built sort of a vertical hangar inside which these jets can sit and lift out of. Then for this piece over here, um, well, I'm flying, doing things in the wrong order here, with the helipads, <laughs> um, we just thought we'd fill oh. the area with oh, helipads. Because um, <laughs> you need helipads in a, in a, in a future, futuristic base, and of course this is Avengers themed, it's based off of that thing from uh, the Civil War, Captain America Civil War. So yeah, lots of helipads there, and then we need a spot to put our junk on this yellow square here, and then just a piece of big giant air conditioner room to fill the space <laughs> then over here um we did these today 
these are my communications towers. Um, helpfully built up by Wandel as well. <laughs> and yeah, I just did, again to fill the space, trying to make it not flat, and I think it worked out okay. And then of course in the middle, I had to fill there something. So I put in some solar panels. Yeah, these are looking really sick, dude. Like, I wouldn't oh, have you. come up with all these little details on my own. It would have just been flat. So thank you very much for coming over and helping me out with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, and... the, these solar panels were just kind of very spur of the moment. I thought, hey, wait a second. Yeah, definitely solar a really good energy. idea there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got to be a little green, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Kian had the awesome idea, rather than just making a big slab of a roof, to leave the center open and kind of make this a hangar bay, since we didn't have enough time to build the uh, the helicarrier bay I wanted over this way. We kind of got a uh, little bit of a compromise here, so this center section has become our uh, landing area. So this, in theory, is supposed to be a roof that retracts, so theoretically there would be another piece here, but... Once again, time is not something we had a lot of, so we didn't build the extra piece under here that would theoretically come and cover this center section. And then we've got our uh, Quinjet in here that, you know, our Avengers can jump in and uh, go off to save the day in. <laughs> Discount Quinjet. Dollar store Quinjet. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you take what you Ian can get. and dollar store are synonymous in this case. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what we've been working on for the past uh, couple days. So, where'd you go? Ah, hi! <laughs> Hello. But yeah, thanks again for coming over and helping, and thank you also to Reverse Wandle and Mythically Emmy for also helping out with a bunch of this stuff, because they came over and did and, a bunch of the grindy work. Yep. And, and we got to kill Emmy a bunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, here it is, guys. Our completed Season 1 base. The Triscalian from Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's land on the helipad since that's what we made it for. Um, but yeah, thanks again to everyone for helping me out with this base because it wasn't just that time lapse that you guys saw. I've had some help throughout the season as well from other Enigmites with design ideas, uh, proportions for the circles, placing blocks, gathering stuff. So thank you to all my fellow enigmites who helped build my base this season <laughs> but yeah um let's just take a quick tour around there isn't much to see but i mean i feel like it's worth it because we put a lot of time and effort into this base like this central area here this building we spent probably about 13 hours making so even though we don't have much in it i would have loved to have done more with the base but well like i said last episode our world is a little bit corrupted, so it's it's time to say goodbye to it. Even though we love this world, we're going to have a ton of fun in Season 2. I just know it. But yeah, this is one of the first things that we built inside our base. Well, it's pretty much the only thing that we built inside our base is our storage room. And this was very spur of the moment, too. Like, I didn't plan this out at all. And this is another thing I had a little bit of design help with, too. Wandel and Lilith uh, gave their opinions on what I should do for the storage because originally i planned to have storage on all of the sides here but then i just decided you know what we're going to do three sides because that's going to be more than enough storage because i didn't fill half the chests that are here if we had have had a longer season i probably would have though but yeah we've got our little cubbies that we used for different types of materials uh just kind of odd stuff we've got the emmy chest for when she decides to come over here and just murder herself she can toss all her stuff in that chest that way i don't have to keep picking it up and yeah, that's pretty much what we have over here. Then the next thing we built was this area right here, which is what houses our giant iron farm that we designed this season. And uh, funny enough, and I'll show this in a clip in a sec here, um, our, our farm was struck by lightning. We've got some witches up there. So there are a few bugs that I've got to work out for season two if we decide to use this design again because we got witches up here we have zombie villagers down here and if i'm not mistaken uh, it's a little dark to see but uh those guys up there are zombie villagers too but this iron farm produced so much iron and this is another thing that i had help with because mythically emmy and totally not Aaron also afk'd at my farms multiple times to gather all of the iron that we have because we got Probably about 13 double chests over here, and then all of these iron blocks here as well. And then all the stuff that we traded at the trading hall, plus another few shulkers here and there. Plus the giant derpy snowman over- Ow. 
here that Emmy built. So that's pretty much our base for this season because I'm not going to go over the top again since, you know, Kiana and I just did that. But let's take a quick fly around the area too because that's this isn't all that we have around our base because a few of our friends came over and settled nearby too. We've got Kian over here. He's done some more work with uh, the road since I last saw it. But yeah, he's got his uh, helicopter not helicopter helicopter pads are on the roof over there um and i don't want this landed on the helicopter pads this is a rocket ship and he decided to keep our snowman that we gave him too he's fully encased it and it is part of the build now but yeah we got that the derpy snowman by emmy all of this custom terraforming by totally not aaron and of course the soup bowl of doom over here which um you know i don't think this meets uh FDA approval, but you know, the the meat's slightly undercooked. But yeah, this is just an amazing build inside here. We got all the different biomes in the different corners, and I would have loved to have seen what Aaron did with this base if we had have uh, used this season for longer, but you know how it is. And then of course our humble beginnings, our little cave over here. This is where we spent a good portion of the season, honestly, because I didn't even build this until episode 9 or something like that. Got our beginning storage room, our uh, melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane farm, which I don't visit much on camera, but I actually do come to fairly often because this thing still produces. Like, we got a ton of stuff over here. Uh, our sugarcane farm has just been pumping away as well. We use those for rockets, and then a little concrete maker over here. But yeah, this is where we started our season off, guys. And it seems like we've come a long way since then, even though it's only been sub since September that I've been on this server. And our initial trading hall over here, too, with our villagers, and unfortunately a baby zombie got in here, too, and um, kind of wrecked my librarians. But, you know, we won't talk about that. But yeah, that is our base for this season. And I do have some plans for next season. And we've got some rather interesting ideas for how we're going to run the season in general. So stay tuned for more information on that. But I want to show you guys some funny scenes from when Kian and I were building too. Because there were a lot of just derpy moments. Especially once the other guys came over. So enjoy these clips. Dude, Minecraft is weird. <laughs> <laughs> guys? Hello? <laughs> well, they lasted most of this season at least. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that okay. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I love that they're still throwing them. They know they're not going to hit us. But my goodness. You know what? I kind of want to leave them. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be part of the world download. Wait, okay, have fun exploring that, you. If you're at home. I want to see this. <laughs> oh, there's a creeper right there. <laughs> Come on, go to sleep. <laughs> ah! I don't even know what Why bed you Why do you found. have a hole next to your bed? <laughs> what? I fell down the hole. Oh, uh, that's because <laughs> Emmy can't dig in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's Emmy. There's another one over here. <laughs> Alright, naming is commencing. Alright, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> oh they hit themselves! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be free. Okay, I'm gonna slide in there, real smooth. Nope. 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 Oh, they hit themselves again. Here, I'll give you a block to stand on. <laughs> you got this. I believe in you. Kind of. We need that motivation. <laughs> they just keep smashing themselves in the face with poison. Okay. Herbert, eater of gaming keyboards. Gilbert, crusher of watermelon. Okay, great. I think we are set. <laughs> Perfect. I love how their little noses go up when they drink. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, they got to slip their uh, potion under the nose, right? Yep, yep. I never noticed that before you pointed <laughs> it out. <laughs> I can't unsee it now. It's just like when you figure out that there's a second llama face on a llama face. I know, right? Yeah, these guys are appropriately sinister. I'll, I'll leave them for the, yeah. for the iron farm. Hmm. Wow. Just kidding. Follow Emmy on Twitch.
<laughs> you hit me. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Stupid slabs. I'm, I'm not flight mode anymore. <laughs> you still look like you're in flight mode on my screen. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I'm not flight mode for me, though. Is she going to try to join us? Oh. I don't think there's no. enough space. Wait, I, let me turn on shaders. Shaders. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is this is what happens. The final days of right. <laughs> <laughs> big yeah, brain, a bigger head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so psycho. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. They were a lot of fun to record, and I'm glad all the guys could come over. But I do have another clip to show you guys. All of us, or at least as many of us as we could, managed to meet up in the shopping district a couple days ago for a season send-off. And this is how that went. What are we firing at? You got space for one more in there, Keith? Why are we burning the Christmas tree? Oh, there's someone up there. How's it going? Someone. We're just firing he's, at whoever's in the trees. He's <laughs> spritzing arrows at everyone. So I shall spritz arrows back. Oh, I hit just... him. I hit him. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Lola, so you there. know how you yes. had a... I'm going to go over here and do this. Oops. But, uh, I'm sorry, Solomon. You, you know Solomon. how you had a ton of... Uh, <laughs> now I'm in of, the wall. Of, of, ...of these guys here? Yeah. <laughs> so you know where they went? <laughs> nope. So, you know all those death things that everyone oh, was having over here? Oh. Yeah, it was kind of collateral damage. Okay, dokie. I am here we are for the things. season finale, guys. The extra. Nope. We got everyone here, even the people who couldn't be here. And Sarge and Wandel are about to give their speech. And we, Just of course, have wait Doof. As we wait. Big brain. Crap, I just, I just dropped my brain off in there. Damn it. Well, okay then. Okay. Well, hello there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all for coming here today, first of all. Uh, so glad everyone could make it in an orange jumpsuit. Somebody's really uh, appreciate it. Thanks. Very cool. You're welcome. Right. Sarge. Hi. Want to take this bad boy away? I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go for mm -hmm. it. Just gonna get my YouTube voice on. <clears throat> okay. Do you guys see this yeah. stage? Because it's all yours. Thank you. Anyway, <clears throat> hello everyone. Um, <laughs> well, welcome here. As you all know, where this is our season one finale. So, thank you to the people who could make it and the people who obviously couldn't. But anyway, um. Yeah, me and Wanda just wanted to get together and kind of shoot off some fireworks and say a huge thank you to everyone for being a part of the community. Um, you'll know who you are, obviously, because, well, we're standing here, I guess. But anyway, um, Wondle, over to you. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, as Sarge said, thank you so much for everybody who's here, everybody who is still with us from the start, everybody who has joined us along the way, and everybody who is no longer with us but helped make this possible. I'm not going to do any special shoutouts because that would take way too long and we have way too many people, but I think everybody knows who we mean. Um, I'm really looking forward to season two. I hope you all are too. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I see King nodding his head. Very nice. Like a good boy. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get that started. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for this amazing season. I've had a lot of fun, learned a lot, made a lot of friends along the way. And I hope we can keep this... Uh, Keep this going into next season oh, with a, a much better server and a lot of cool stuff coming. So uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. And I think do actually, what do we the should own? do. Uh, we should just take oh, the, oh. take a moment here to uh, to say a huge thank you to Mr. Alfie uh, for obviously for the for providing the new server along with uh, Ed, one of his very close friends. So thank mm -hmm. you, King. Uh, Being <laughs> punched oh, off the okay. stage. Wow. Well, Hi. Let's get slapped. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, so did anyone want to come up and say a few words? It's a bit of a bit of a bit of a, a farewell, Enigma SMP season one. 
Tika is okay. Um, take. Well, well, okay. Let's take our. Uh, let's take yeah, our everyone, I'm glad that I could save you another. Goodbye. Wow! What a speech! Yay! Yay! Wow. Bad. Okay. Wow. Our fireworks. <laughs> Our fireworks. Time for fireworks. fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. <laughs> should we wait until nighttime, though? Yes, let's do it quick. Yeah. Up, we and we'll, we'll be back in a sec. All right, are we ready for fireworks? <laughs> let's do Where this. Let's let's go. Go. Okay, everybody ready? <clears throat> Sarge, do yes. you want to do the honors? <laughs> do you? I think what we should do here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Goodbye, bye, victory. Goodbye, bye. I'm for a second, but you guys. Yay! Alright, one left, I'm married now. Yay! <laughs> Throw a race. Where's Sarge? I need to get some beautiful bride. Where's my beautiful bride? <laughs> Someone. <laughs> there goes T. <laughs> I can't take off. Helps if you put your elytra on. Those were really good fireworks. Oh, there's phantoms. What about them? them? <laughs> I don't want to die. Have but anyway, have thank weapon. you to everyone for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And I guess we'll... Uh, we'll all... More fireworks! <laughs> 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 we'll all see you Sorry, in Tom. season two. Water behind you. Yay. Now let's murder King. What? Oh. Someone took my bow. Murder him. Smack him. Ah, bully circle. What's the leg? Ow, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm out> <laughs> well. <laughs> so I am proud. So do I get my stuff get back? <laughs> 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 got the door pad! I'll help I need, you. I need my oh. stuff. Or not. If there's one oh, thing I care about in this me. world, it's that head. <laughs> I want my wings. Let me wings. <laughs> well then. Skoku! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Can we please not pick up my stuff for the moment? Oh, oh wow, you finally got the achievement. <laughs> 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 oh. Wait, Tim, you just okay. failed your challenge. Okay, you failed. <laughs> no, I didn't put failed. it on. I did not put it on. And taught me everything. Come on, man. Also, can I just point out the Punch fact me. that no one addressed the achievements? I was just looking at it. Oh, uh, trust me, it's a feature in my video. <laughs> like, you just focus the video on that, but you never talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we, everybody That's just ignores it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, there's just a random doofenshmirtz. Let's just ignore its existence. One little tick is stealing. I'm top gunning this shit. No, oh, I don't have armor on. What am I doing? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lilith. Yes, Lilith. <laughs> Strikes. Maybe don't. Yeah, Lilith I'm is on Team King. So it might be a bit odd. I just realized I'm pushed to talk and you can't hear me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a shame, actually. Nice. Although you're on Team King, right? None of none of that is my stuff. Yeah, can I sure. have back there? Yes. Uh, sure, Take if I can kill one, well, sure. <laughs> you have one arrow for me as well. I'm I'm very thankful that everybody remembers that I have exactly thirty ender well, chests. <laughs> Okay, no, one. nobody remembers that Wandle. It's just they're like, oh, we picked up 30 ender chests. That's definitely Wandles. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to conclude our season one finale. Thank you so much to everyone who has given me support over the last few months as we've recorded season one. And I hope you guys will stick around and enjoy season two as much as you have season one. So we're going to end off with a little bit of a tour of all the stuff that we've done over the season, including our villager base, the Triscalian, and everything in between. So once again, thank you very much for all of your support this season, and I hope you guys have made sure to check out some of the other Nick Mites as well. Their links are in the description, so make sure to check them out. 
And also, I have my Twitter in the description where I'll be announcing more information to come on Season 2 and what our plans will be as well. Also, you can check out when I go live and everything like that because I will be live streaming more over the next couple months to kind of fill extra content because with school, I don't know how much I'll be able to record. My goal is going to be a video a week, but on the weeks that I can't do that, I'm going to make sure to live stream extra because I do still have time to game, just not time to put together a full video. So I think we're going to leave it there. Once again, thank you very much for all your support over Season 1, and I'll see you in Season 2. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, that way you'll know when Season 2 Episode 1 comes out. And I'll see you guys then.